Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where I make survey practices to be easier and educative. In the previous video on how to process static data, I took everyone through the step-by-step -step approach from importing the static data and uh, defining the coordinate system and setting up the control base point as well as processing the baseline. All right. However, the challenge is that some of the baselines failed. They were ineligible, rather. All right. So I actually stopped there. And here, I want to complete the A to Z on how to make it passed and fixed. All right. So to quickly do that, all you have to do is to click on the ineligible baseline. So this is the baseline here. All right, AG0PX. All right, so um, I'm going to show you on how to make that uh, passed. So, so therefore, to make it passed and fixed, there are two options or two methods to that. Okay, I'm going to show you the first one and I'm going to show you the second one. In case the first method failed, you can try the second option. The second option cannot fail try that over and over again so the first option or the first method to make it eligible that is pass okay is to click on the field or ineligible baseline all right then you come to data plot so when you come to data plot make sure that the ineligible this you are seeing on the screen these are ineligible baseline these are ineligible these are ineligible so the first one is the one we want to adjust all right so on how to adjust this you make sure you click on it then it is on data plot okay so the first these are uh satellite signals okay you can see that the g05 reads from the beginning to the end so that shows that it is good this reads from the beginning but it did not get to the end and there are bricks okay just like you can see here these are bricks in signal these are also brick in signal this can be caused by you know different uh, error component in GPS surveys, in GNSS surveys, due to tropospheric error, you know, multi-part error, ionospheric layers error, and etc. Alright, so here is the uh, beauty of post-processing of static data. This is one of the advantage static observation have over the real-time kinematic uh, observations. So in real-time kinematic observation, you won't have advantage to correct for all this error. But in static observations, you can correct all this error to some certain extent. So how to correct the ineligible baseline is what we want to run here. All right. So how to correct this is to left-click on your mouse steadily, then you drag it to cover the break point. Okay. Same thing here to cover to the ending. Okay. So you you scroll down. To the next place you have the break okay here as well so you cover from here to here here to here okay as well as this okay so it's to some extent it's not too compulsory these ones that are here you can choose to and you can choose not to the most important ones are these ones that breaks in between okay you make sure all these gaps is joined okay so that is just how to correct for individual uh, baselines okay so you do for the rest of them the same way you are seeing on the screen so I'm just going to scroll down and do for others so this method is method one I'm still going to show you method two in case this one is uh, stressful and um, it's me and it may you know work so it's under maybe so it's not too guarantee but this is one of the appropriate method to uh, correct for ineligible uh, baselines so it's not compulsory that there are two signals so you can see this one there are two this one is one so you can just leave this one since they read from beginning to the end all right so so guys just that is just it so when you are done with this you come to the the uh, baseline we just adjusted then you click on process line 
so if it is passed the reddish icon will leave it but if it is fail it will still be there so you can see guys it has leave so you come to baseline and you can see this is the baseline we corrected and it is passed so you can actually try that on other baseline however that method is a little bit stressful so let's quickly go to the second method to make the baseline passed all right this is the fastest method so far and it works almost all the time so you click on the illegible baseline you right click then come to process options so here you come to advanced so on your advanced you scroll down to minimum ratio so the minimum ratio standard setup for this baseline processing is 1.8 however if you check other ratio here that is less than 1.8 failed okay so you can see this 1.2 is ineligible okay one one is ineligible and so on and so forth so what you are going to do here is to set for this baseline the minimum ratio to be what you are seeing on the screen so here it is 1.2 so the only thing the only uh, allowable ratio is going to be 1.2 for this line all right so when you are done with that you click on apply to a that is it is only applicable to this so you come to that here then you right click then you process line so you are going to see it from ineligible to pass so guys you can see it already so i'm just going to do it for every other one all right so here processing option i'm going to edit it Make sure you come to advance before you can see this option. So 1.0. Apply to A. Then I'm just going to process line. So you can see it's passed. I'm going to do for this as well. So this kind of it is faster. see this is a major challenge in post processing static data and it is being solved in this video please if you are yet to hit on the subscribe icon on this channel do where to do so now just do it now all right so that you can keep getting updated and learning from us as we learn from you every day all right so you can see fast so you can see past so let's try the first option here okay first options let's quickly try it here okay to see that either of which works better okay so just like i explained just close the gap close the gap so here um, let's just leave that one like i said it's not a compulsory so this gap here you close it all right so you can see you can use this icon to make sure all uh, signals is well corrected for okay so you come here this is the last one right click then process line so you do not need to use the second option except this one field okay so let's see so that you can see it is passed so either of the two options works best so that is just how to uh, correct for ineligible baselines, all right? So when you are done with that, when you are done, you can see there is no more reddish line. Everything is black and we are good to go, okay? We are good to go. So the next thing is to do your network adjustments by clicking on network adjustments. So you can choose to see the adjustment options, okay? here. If you have some baselines that are still, you know, non fixed or ineligible, if, even if you have tried the two methods before now, okay, you can click here to enable non fixed baseline. All right, but if you want your data to be perfectly and very accurate, you can choose to, you know, click on no so that you won't have your results on those ineligible baseline. But it is, you know, ideal to click on yes. So that you can still have your data even though they did not meet the 
100% requirement, they can still move above 70, which is still good for your surveys. Alright, so you click on yes, then so here you can leave all this on default, okay? Then you click on OK. Alright, so here you can now click on adjust. So at this stage, you leave it at free. Then you here you choose the target datum because you want our results on target reference system. So, so you check the target datum. Alright, then here you can now click auto adjust. Alright. Okay, so you now have these options. So these options now you click on this third options constraint 3D net adjust in target system. Okay, you now click process. Then you can now get your report. So your report is basically going to come out in this form. All right below. So these are your results. It's going to give your results in the BGS84. All right. And it's going to give you your results in your target system. So this is the adjusted point in WGS4. So you can see the station ID here, and you can see the X, which is the eastings of the points. You can see the standard deviation for those who need the net adjustment reports for assessments. You can see the Y, which is the north east. Then you can now see the standard deviation for the Y in millimeters. All right. Then you can now see the Z okay but this z is not the z you are familiar with okay so you can scroll down to see the results in lat and long then the appropriate heights all right this is in the uh geographic format all right so here is the height okay to the uh ellipsoid all right so this height then your adjusted point in target system all right you are now going to see what you are basically familiar with nothing's okay eastings then the u is the elevations okay reference to the geoid the mean sea level so these are your results okay so you can choose to see every other thing you are interested in so that is not all let me click on apply results okay so when you get your report you cannot apply your results okay then you are done with this stage so if you want to see your data maybe you don't want to see all these information you just want to get your data in excel in excel all right so you are to come to export below so this is the last thing you have to do click on export then you check click on export here so that different export format you can export a csv which is the excel format text format notepad dxf autocad and so on and so forth all right so i'll just you know export this point in excel all right dot csv then you click on you check that then you click on ok so here you can see in case you just want this information in case you just want the free 3d net adjustment results but i would like to go with this last second to the last option here okay yeah you click on ok so these are the informations that has been processed accurately so post processing gives better results than you know your rtk that you get your results instantly on site there you cannot correct for any errors but when you post process you can choose to correct some errors to some certain extent that is why static uh, method of survey is one of the best accurate you know uh, method of survey so far all right so this is in lat and long you can see bl and the hash this is lat and long while this is the target system nothing's eastings then the elevations respectively so this is what you make use of basically and this is what i'll be interested in as well so thank you for watching do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification to keep getting information and valuable tutorial from this channel freely thank you see you again